Now, recently I reviewed my first red dot or green dot from Viridian. Now, we know them for their lasers. They're just getting started into doing some optics, especially green dots like the ones that I saw at the SHOT Show. Now, I got my hands on the new GDO 30 and the new GDO mag combo. I was working on a review, and this was the perfect opportunity to put these on and test them. Check this out and see how they did. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now before we get to shooting, let's go over the specs and tech and take an up close view and see what we have here for the GDO. I just wanna make a quick note here because I'm gonna switch this. This is how it came. Okay, with the mechanism going to the left side. And I, at least me, I don't like that. All, all of them that I've had always go to the right. And just the way I carry it across my chest, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to the right. I did send a note to Viridian and suggested switching that around. Uh, should be easy. Let's just give it a quick go. Okay, so what I did was, is I reversed that. And the reason I reversed that is, unfortunately, the world is predominantly right-handed. And when you wear your weapon across your chest, okay, you want that to flip to the right out because most of us are going to be laying it across our chest and flipping it to the left or having it flip to the left is going to be digging into your sternum. Um, this would be the first time I've, I've ever seen one come with anything that flips to the left. So I reversed it, it seems to be working pretty well. It, you know, it changes the dynamics a little bit, but I did have it mounted and it, it worked just fine. Another thing that I wanna point out here is the the protectors here, this doesn't, this doesn't work, not for me, okay? This rubber guard either needs to come off or these need to be down because you cannot get at this very easy, okay? Okay, that was entirely too much work to get at that, just simply to be able to move the dot into the center of the reticle. The, what you should have on the magnifier is exactly what you have on the GDO 30. Now, these are awesome. I like these. Okay, they're protected. They're not going to be easy to twist and turn, um, but they are audible and palpable. Okay, I really like those. I would just do the same thing. This needs to be flipped around so that we can just turn this e easily because it, it, it's too much work and a hassle to just simply center my red dot. We do have... A focus here. Another thing that I would suggest on this is this is a, I think 22 millimeter objective lens is where the GDO that it goes with is a 30. I would make this at least a 30 so that when you're doing a combo you're going to have essentially the biggest in the same field of view. It gets a little narrower and when you're using this it seems to be a little bit darker with using it versus with not using it. Also, the GDO Max comes up sitting a little bit shorter, okay? It's not centered. So a suggestion would be either this comes with the low mount, okay? Or this has a little bit higher mount. Now, I don't have the low mount to show you, 
Um, I didn't have it in my box. Something else I want to show you on here that I really like. They do have one of the better quick detaches. Okay, I've had some from other companies that are real pain. This one, it pulls back nice and easy and flips over. I really do like that. The lens covers, I like those. The AAA battery in my book is huge. It's a battery that everybody has. It's easy to find. We can use rechargeables. We've got lithium. We got all kinds of options. I wish more optics were using AAA instead of the stuff that you're going to have to go to a drugstore and you just don't have laying around the house. So with a lot of the optics and the batteries, battery dies, your SOL, unless you've got a backup or you can run into town somewhere that sells specialized batteries. Buttons are kiss. You got the power and up and down. Okay, I just want to give you the sight picture that I've got for sighting in here at 50 yards. Now we'll, we'll start looking through the magnifier. And I'm getting a lot of glare off that magnifier. You can see there. Okay, now here's with the magnifier out of the way. Let's see if we can. Okay, so there's the basics of both of these. I mounted them on my HMD upper. Check out how they performed and you decide what you think. Okay, let's get this zeroed at 50. I'm using the Winchester Green Tip. Special thanks to Winchester for providing the ammo for this review. Um, I've got this on uh, an SBR lower. Uh, that way I don't have to mess with the whole brace thing. And I've got a trigger tech trigger in there that is really nice. That is going to maximize our accuracy, at least as far as the trigger goes. Um, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> okay. I must have zeroed this and forgot. And uh, we've, had some, we've had some really bad weather here this spring. And I swore that I had zeroed this and and did some video footage, but I went through my the the cameras and I couldn't find anything. Anyway, um, let me just show you the group that I got. Obviously, I either zeroed it or I am. Um, this was the most uh, one in a million putting an optic on. Anyway, check this out. <laughs> I'm happy with that, guys. I'm really happy with that. With a great big old red green dot. I'm sorry, the green dot. And you understand the green dot in that sight picture that I'm seeing takes up this much space. Okay? That's, that's sweet. I, I am super happy with that. Let's... Uh... <laughs> Okay, I did one click down and one click to the left. So, you know, we've got we got some pretty big movement with with one click. Um <laughs> that is that is awesome. I'm sorry. I'm I, I just I, I really like that. I got three all touching and then I got this one here, you know, with with a green dot at 50 yards with, you know, green tip basically kind of range ammo combat ammo that is fantastic i do have to say that this green tip really just surprised me um you know it, basically the m855 is military surplus okay you know it's green tip it's range ammo it has blown me away the groups that i get with it and i'm not just saying that because winchester sent it to me it is what it is I mean, you see the groups i've used this now in several reviews anyway um let's have some fun with it let's go 100 yards uh, I, I can't pull the trigger as fast as i can because this thing with a brake on there it is loud and it, it will probably hide the the ding of hitting it so what i'll do is the second i hear the ding i'll send the next round and we'll do that again at 200 300 400 and 500.
<laughs> that is fun. All right, let's see. Let's do the same thing at 200. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. That says a lot about a lot of different things here. We've got the ammo to consider, the trigger to consider, the upper to consider, which you know is getting outstanding groups, the optics. Thus far, I would say we have one hell of a symphony, and everybody is performing outstanding together. Let's do 300. Now, real quick. <laughs> uh, let's try let's see if we can do that at 400 okay we'll try 400 of course it never fails getting just a little bit of breeze here it might take me a couple shots to figure out the holdover folks if you're enjoying this review do you follow my channel would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing not a zip zero hit that subscribe button that does as much as anything so hit that button I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Costs you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper, and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy, stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Okay, is shooting just a little bit to the left. Um, let's try another one. Uh, okay, real quick, let's just try it with, uh, we'll do five rounds without the magnifier with the green dot and then we'll reach over there to 200. Let's jump over 200. I'm gonna slap the magnifier back on. Nice, guys. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. That really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time you're at the range and you're getting trigger time, you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.